Hello everybody, this is Vasily and my new shape of the FOMO video. This time I haven't prepared any good looking sample, but I have to show you something. So let's watch what I have. Well, frankly speaking, Shaper Deformer is the Synos Deformer. I mean, technically, this is an asset, and that asset has to be imported to the asset library before use. Once you are not familiar with that process, let me just go to the asset browser and show how you can import this. Just go to Create menu and choose Import Asset. After that, just point to the zip file with asset, like Shaper Deformer asset.zip, double click on it, hit OK, OK, and OK, and that asset becomes available. So we can now just double click on it and it would create that shape or deformer in the object manager. Now I'm going to hide this panel. So once this is a deformer, it would require some geometry and it would be sphere this time. I'm going to decrease this segment count to like 100. And once I will drop that shape under the sphere, this sphere immediately becomes a cube. And that's why I made this cube icon for the shaper because initially it was a cubified deformer and later I came up with three different options. So now I can move it shaper in, in the scene and you should notice what actually if this is similar to a spherified deformer, I mean to a classic spherified deformer, when, where instead of a creating cube I'm just projecting the original geometry onto virtual cube like so. Rotation by the way is also support and with scaling as well. Maybe now let me go with wireframe and explain all these parameters. So the first parameter is the shape and there are three options like classic sphere and modern cube and cylinder. And second parameter is the strand and it's straightforward. We can slide between 0 and 100% to define some blending between rest state and the deformed state. And third parameter is the strength map. This is a field replacement for the Synos deformers. I mean classic deformers has additional field tab where you can arrange different field objects uh, into field set. But Synos Deformer has nothing to do with Object Manager's field object. Instead, it can handle the geometry and geometry attributes. So that field is made for the weight map. And let me now create one. I will go to the sphere, to the hour text and create a vertex map. And by the way, I'm usually naming vertex map as a weight map, as most does. So that checkbox has to be disabled. That's an important thing because this is defined in the execution order. So once it's disabled, initially this weight map would be calculated and based on this map shaper would deform the geometry. Once it would be enabled, there would be reverse order. Initially the shaper based on nothing would try to deform the geometry and only after that this weight map would be calculated. Okay, once we have cylinder here, let me also create a cylindrical field here. Like so, and I'm going to parent this cylinder field to a shaper and reset this position and rotation and maybe I'll make this a little bit bigger like 150 and 100 here and now I can drop this weight map to the shaper like so and pay attention to this red region at that region we have weight equals to zero that's why it colored as red and that region is taking the rest state, I mean it's not deformed, but the region which is colored as yellow, where we have weight equals to 100, that region is fully deformed. So that is very similar to the fields approach. And the next parameter is the size, where we can go with smaller or bigger size, and that parameter just defines the virtual shape size. I mean for a cylinder it would define cylinder height and cylinder top and bottom circles diameter, for cube it would define the cube side length and for sphere it would define sphere diameter comparable to a spherified deformer where you can define radius of virtual sphere this defines double radius value for a sphere ok let me back to the cylinder but this size parameter is not the only way how we can define the virtual shape size if I will reset this thing and try the scale tool and while the shaper is selected if I will scale it up it seems like it's scaling properly, but if you'll go to the shaper and check its scaling, it equals to 1, means scale is not changed. That's because actually wet size parameters change. And moreover, this cylinder field 
height and radius was changed. But let's not the issue that is a feature of that model mode. I mean, it is applicable not only for the shape of the deformer, it is applicable for every classic deformer or for the fields object or for the generators. I mean, for some of the generators. So we have to switch from the model mode to the object mode. And let me also revert all these changes that I just did. And once this model mode activated and this shaper is selected, if we'll try to scale it, this size wouldn't be changed, but that scale is changing. And that's why we can scale along a single axis only in that mode. Let me now make it like so. Okay, and the next parameter is size map, which is similar to strength map, can be supplied with the vertex map. <laughs> I'm sorry for the maps. I'm going to delete this thing and drop this tag over here. So now, how does this vertex map work? The region which is colored as yellow, where we have weight equals to 100%, that region takes the full size which is defined here, obviously multiplied by this scaling, but the region which was colored as red, its leg scales down. Let me now try to show you with the strength parameter. Uh, once I will go from the 0 to 100, the red region starts to scale down, and in the end it should like collapse into the point. Let me choose different positioning and maybe scale. Now if I will zoom in, you should see what here we have a collapsing point. And that behavior might be controlled with that parameter. So currently it's set to none. And that's why there are no limits for the minimum size. But we can fine tune this with uniform option. And now we can define the minimum available size relatively to wet size. I mean, it defines in percentage. So we can go to the zero and allow collapsing or go to the 100% and don't allow any scaling. Or we can go to a separate setting and define limits along uh, each axis. I mean, if we'll define zero here along axis X, everything would be collapsed to a plane. And now we can go with zero along axis Z and this plane would be collapsed to a line and if we will set 0 at that parameter, that line would be collapsed to a point. I hope it's not as hard as I just explained and it might be fun to work with. And by the way, this is a CNOS deformer, so you don't have to, but once you want to explore, you can try to right-click on the shaper and go to the Edit Asset as a group item. And here would be a CNOS graph, so you can learn how does it work and maybe improve it for your needs. Okay, that's it. You can download this asset from my Patreon page for free. Just follow the link from the description below this video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.